for race number one, the Green Pastures Hurdle. Field of six, two and a quarter miles over the national fences, and they'll be at the start shortly. Two times under the wire completes the course. The flag is up. Moving in line for the start. And they're away in race one here at the Iroquois. On they go to the first of 14, strong box. Moves out for the early lead. Moscato back in the second spot. On the outside, personal start. On into third, Lionel is next. On the inside, Yellow Mountain and a two and a half. The back marker early on is with rhythm as they jump to second and head to the far turn. Strong box on the lead by a length and a quarter. Moscato right there in second. Three off the leader is Lionel as they make their way around the turn. Along the hedge, uh, Yellow Mountain is next, right there with personal start and with rhythm. As they come now to the top of this gorgeous Iroquois stretch. And Strongbox will lead as they come at us now by two and a half with Moscato still in second. Uh, all jumping well on the outside. Yellow Mountain bucks his head a bit. On the inside, next is Lionel with rhythm at the back as they come under the wire for the first time. And Moscato has come on to take the lead. Strong box is right there in second. Gap of a two now. Back to personal start there in third. Then comes Lionel. Followed by Yellow Mountain to the outside and the back marker with rhythm. Six off the pace. Halfway home in the opener here in Nashville. Moscato the Gray at the hedge has the lead now. On the outside, personal start. He is next. Then comes Strongbox. Followed by Yellow Mountain. Then the gap of... About two, Lionel in with rhythm at the back. Round the far turn now. Moscato flew over that fence. On the lead here, a length and a half. Then comes a Yellow Mountain. As they make their way down the back straight for the final time. Moscato has the lead on the outside. Personal start is there in second. Then comes Lionel, third ahead. Strong box is fourth. On the outside, Yellow Mountain with the red cap and with rhythm is still very much in it as they head down the back straight for the last time. Moscato in final length and a half. Personal start is next. Lionel, four behind the leader. Strong box is next. With rhythm begins to gain a bit and two and a half now. The back marker is Yellow Mountain. Moscato the Gray has the lead by two and a half. A trio comes on, headed by With Rhythm. Now on to challenge for the lead. Lionel on the hedge is next. On the outside, personal start. There in fourth, then comes Strong Box. On Yellow Mountain is pulled up. Here they are at the top of the straight. Moscato has the lead as they come to the final. It's Moscato. Oh, and with rhythm was a follower at that fence. Moscato and Sean McDermott by five. Lionel is next. Then Strong Box as they jump the final. Sean McDermott takes a look and likes what he sees and gallops home here in the opener at Iroquois.
the result of the first race is official. The winner number four, Bruton Streets Moscato. A Greg Gelding by Hernando from Albastella, trained by Jack Fisher and the winning rider, Sean McDermott. Down to you, Megan. Ladies and gentlemen, making the trophy presentation for the winners of the first race, Bruton Street Stables and Moscato is Lowry Watkins Jr. Congratulations to all. Winning jockey Sean McDermott after a thrilling ride in the very first race here today on Bruton Street Stables Moscato. Take me back to the start and tell me how the race went for you. Um, very smooth. There wasn't much pace, so I just took a lead for the first half of the race, but um, Orlad is his more stamina based horse, so I wanted to really stretch the field. Um, so I, I kicked on with a circuit to go there, and he, he just tired the rest of them out and I took the speed out of them. So if they can all be that easy today, I'll be happy, you know. He looked like he was running very easily on the front end and jumping well, and just very happy to be up front there. Yeah, um, funny when he came to us, he, he used to have a little think about it, but the more racing we've given him, him over here, he's been uh, become more genuine. Um, he's really improved at Jack Fisher's farm. He's done a great job with him. Um, and he seems to only be getting better and better. So big thanks to the owners for putting me up to and hopefully he can win a big one in the future, you know. Well, I know you have a very busy day today. You've got a lot of horses for Jack and um, we wish you the best of luck, continued success here at the Iroquois, Sean. Thank you. Hopefully we're talking to you again soon. Mike Hankin, who is of the Bruton Street Stables, uh, owner of the Moscato, the winner of their first race. Congratulations. Thanks. It's good to be here. We have all three Bruton Street owners here, Charlie Fenwick, Charlie Knoll, and our family. So it's, it's good to be back in Nashville. Having a little bit of deja vu from last year. I feel like we went through some of this last year. Very important to note that uh, your son Connor is here today. He actually walked Moscato back because he was a bit of a handful after the race. How special is it for you to be able to can you continue these uh, moments with your son? We, we are really happy to have Connor down here today. He flew down this morning. He went immediately to the barn. He's been working all morning, and I think it takes a Marine to leave that horse back.